Build to rent housing may be the future of single family and multifamily real estate investing. In recent years, build to rent homes and communities have increased in popularity among real estate investors and tenants. Build to rent properties are still a small percentage of the overall housing market, but this new type of housing is growing dramatically. Welcome to my channel, Jobin, where we together learn to invest, manage, and profit off of real estate investing. If real estate investing interests you, consider hitting the like button, subscribe to my channel for more informational videos just like this one. In this video, we will go over why build to rent properties may be the future of real estate investing. <laughs> Now, for anyone that has not heard of the term, essentially built for rent, also known as BFR, is a fairly new twist on an old age concept. BFR refers to a real estate strategy where real estate investors construct properties with the specific purpose of renting them out. This approach involves developing single family homes, townhomes, or multifamily apartment complexes with the intention of leasing them out to tenants. So why is build to rent investing gaining popularity among real estate investors? I'm a thorough believer that real estate investors, especially new real estate investors, need to keep it simple. My favorite aspect of build to rent investing is it's designed to make owning a single family rental much easier than ever before. And being from the property management industry, new or turnkey rental properties are so much easier to manage from both an operational and a maintenance perspective and great for real estate investors. Overall, the demand for rental housing nationwide has increased due to higher interest rates and the cost of home ownership, along with lifestyle preferences and the demographic shifts. BFR housing and communities can also help with the housing shortages we have. According to US News, the United States suffers with a cumulative affordable housing shortage estimated at 4.4 million total units. This is one thing that BFR can address relatively rapidly and it begins to scale nationwide. Millennials are delaying home ownership at a higher rate than previous generations and today higher interest rates are making home ownership that much harder. The current rental market is competitive so more inventory makes finding a home more feasible and these build to rent communities are just what we need. BFR investment offers scalability and opportunities for investors. Large institute investors can streamline the construction process by building multiple rental units within the development, which benefits from economies of scale and costs of efficiencies. This enables investors to expand their portfolios more rapidly and efficiently. According to Ben Miller, CEO of Fundrise, it is usually easier to do a BFR community than it is apartment building when it comes to the complexity and the pushback. If I go into a nice suburban neighborhood and I build 100 single family homes, people would be pretty much okay with that, where they may object to an apartment or multifamily complex. Lastly, and most importantly, BFR rental properties have an average renewal rate of 74%. Tenants are having several years or more per stay, which is unheard of typically in the industry. According to RealPage, in the last 12 months, only 57% of tenants renewed their lease agreements. As a real estate investor owning long-term rental properties, we all know that the most costly expense on a rental property is vacancy costs. So why are hedge funds investing in BFR properties? Single family rental market leaders, Tricon Residential and Progress Residential, the largest operators in the space, announced that they are having thousands of build to rent homes planned for development or already under construction and within the pipeline some 12,000 single family homes. JP Morgan partner of Haven Realty Capital in November announced 1 billion joint venture to buy and develop single family rental properties. On another front, even multifamily focused players are getting in the build for rent market. True America Multifamily this past summer launched its own BFR division to develop townhomes and single family communities. Single family builders and smaller real estate investors are also looking to capitalize in the build for rent market. Because of this, hedge funds are targeting this market. We might want to keep our eye and have this on our radar. I know I am. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What you think about the build for rent investment strategy? Do you think it's a solid investment? And if you've done this, I'd love to hear about your experience below. 
Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, cheers.